Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slaying Hope. And I come back with another story time. But before we do all that, you know, I just want to thank y'all. I appreciate y'all for subscribing, for sharing my content, for liking, for engaging in the comments. Engaging in the comments, you know what I'm saying? We've been having some, some good conversations, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout outs to y'all. I appreciate y'all. Also, there's a documentary link in the description. With my other information, Instagram, Facebook, and all that stuff. But there's a documentary link. We came to heal. Y'all go check that out, man. It's a good documentary because our communities need healing. You know what I'm saying? I'm about healing. Our communities healing the hood. You know what I'm saying? So I'm out here slaying and hope. You feel me? But let me get into the story. Because this story is about when the homies hopped on me. This is the last time I got hopped on. It was enough. Enough was enough. You know what I'm saying? They thought I was like a punching bag or something. I don't, I don't know what they thought it was, but you know what I'm saying? This is the last time. The last time. <clears throat> anyway, so I got hopped on across the street from the crib, son. <clears throat> Shit was crazy, babe. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, damn, I don't even remember the day. Like, the day was like kind of like, it might have been, it, it might have been around October. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of little crazy days in October. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I don't think it was October. It was like around, it was kind of getting warm outside, so it's probably like May. Probably was like, yeah, it was around like almost the end of the school year. Matter of fact, it was like May, June. Yeah, it was like May, June, I remember. It was like May, June. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, I ain't gonna lie. We all got situations. I feel like we all got situations that changes either for the better or for the worse. And I feel like this situation right here changed me for the worse. Like, I feel like, yeah, they, they, yo, they jumped me across the street from the crib, son. Like, from your crib. I was like, nah, bro. I was like, nah. Like, I feel like, I feel like I was on some cool, on some cool crib shit. You feel me? Like I said, like, you know, people was blood. I was crib. I was doing my thing. You know, I know why I turned crib. You feel me? But at the same time, I felt like, I was still fake chilling. Like, I was just thinking about, we do, we just going to recruit. We're going to do what, I, what we going to do. And we just going, like, you know. But, yeah, like, I still was cool. Like, I was chill. If I knew you before the gang, we was cool. You know what I'm saying? We was cordial. But a lot of people don't think like that. A lot of people don't think like that, man. A lot of people do not think like that. Like, you could join the opposite gangs. Y'all could have grew up together. And some people are going to be like, nah, you chose your side. And it's lit now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... That's another thing that really got me upset too because few of the people that hopped on me, I knew them. We went to Richard R. Green 113. You know what I'm saying? For y'all that know Richard R. Green, you know? So, yeah, like I was just kind of like, I was just kind of like shocked that, you know, people that you grew up with, it's like, damn, like it's just like, you know, y'all choose a side and then all of a sudden everything's out the window. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? They jumped me across the street from the crib. Like I was just like, yo. And that shit was right on Gun Hill, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. Like, so, boom. So, it was like May. And then I remember, like, I don't know what happened in school. Like, something happened in Evander. You know, like, for those of y'all who know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we used to be out there. You know what I mean? So, boom. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, so something happened in EV that day. And then, like, you know. For those who don't know EV, Vander Childs, high school, you know what I'm saying? Bronx, you know what I'm saying? Like, Boogie Down, you know what I'm saying? That was one of, like, the baddest schools growing up. I ain't going to front. Like, I should make a video about the bad, the top 10 baddest high schools, you know what I'm saying? Because it was crazy back in the day. Early 2000s, show. Sure. Mid-2000s, yo, it was shh, sure, sure. But anyway, you know, so EV, right? You know, you know, back in the days, I don't care who, 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 who don't want to accept it, like, you know, after some time, we was, you know, after I got hopped on, we was out here, you know what I'm saying? We, we started running the hill. So, so this is, so y'all got to pay attention because this is when shit started to change on the hill. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm just pay attention to me. So, you know, so it was like May. And then, um, something happened in EV, whatever. Something happened with some girls and some, some, some. So it was some girls we used to be chilling. We used to chill with some girls. And then the blood dudes used to chill with some girls too. So, you know, we had like a little, there wasn't, the girls we used to chill with, they wasn't crip, but you know, we was cool with them, and then the brothers was cool with some girls, so something happened in school where like, one of the, the homeboys was arguing with like, the, the girls that hang out with the blood dudes, 
And long story short, after school, the girls we hung out with got into a fight with the girls that the Bloods hung out with. So, you know, after the whole situation, the girls we, we, we hung out with, they came to us and they was like, yo, we feel violated. Yo, like this one dude, he was talking crazy. He was saying he, he hit girls and all this. So mind you, they telling us this story so we could kind of like get involved, I guess. I guess they wanted the Crips. Yes, they wanted the Crips to get involved. But we was like, you know, I'm, we just listening. Mind you, it was just me. Um, it was just me and another homeboy. It was only two of us. It was only two of us. The, the blood homie and the other homeboy, he was neutral at the time. So it was like four of us, you know. So it was just me. It was two Crips, one blood, and a neutral guy. So the dudes come, so they come back from the fight, right? And then the girls came, they was telling us what happened, and the blood dudes come, right? So, when, you know, it was like about like nine, ten of them. So the blood dude, he started talking about like, yo, what's going on? He was like, what's going on? Like, he said like, yo, what happened? You know, mind you, I don't go to the school. I don't go to Evander. So I don't know what the hell was going on. I'm just sitting here listening. So he talking to my other mans that go to EV. So he like, you know, they both go to EV. This EV politics, this EV and the politics. I'm just listening. So he like, yo, what's going on? You know, you know, more people be talking with their hand. He like, yo, what's going on? I don't appreciate y'all talking to our bitches like that. Like, excuse my language. This is just what the dude was saying. He said, I don't appreciate y'all talking to our bitches like that. Mind you, I said, I told you it was an argument between one of the homeboys and, and the, the, the girls. You feel me? So he's like, I don't appreciate y'all talking to our bitches like that. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, the girls is right there the whole time listening to this dude call them the B word in front of them. So I'm like, yo, they crazy. So anyway, he going off, you know, he getting on hype and, and using the hands. You, you know how you know how some of these dudes talk. They get they get loud, loud mouth, you know what I'm saying? They they just laugh. You know what I'm saying? They like them little Puerto Rican Chihuahua dogs. They just be barking. You be thinking this is a big dog in the crib. And you, just, you open the door, it's a little dog. You know what I'm saying? Little dog. But anyway. You know, some going crazy with the mouth and in, in the hands, you know what I'm saying? So he like, yo, I don't appreciate that. Ah uh, uh. So the other homeboy I was with, you know, everybody was scared of this dude. He was <laughs> this dude was like 16, he looked like he was 37, <laughs> with like four kids, midlife crisis. He just looked like he was old. You know what I'm saying? He, he looked like he was crazy too. I ain't gonna lie, but you know, the homeboy he like, Yo, 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 I don't like how you talking to me, man. You know, he used to, he used to stutter a little. He'd be like, man, man, I, 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 I don't like how you talking to me, man. I, I, I feel like you trying to play me, son. I, 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 I feel like you trying to play me, son. He like, like, I don't like that shit. So, so he getting mad. So then, the, you know, the, the, the blood dude, you know, he kind of like toned it down a little bit. You know, because this dude's a big dude. You know what I'm saying? He, he be in that gym. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he was on the football team. So, he was a big dude. <laughs> big dude, big dude. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. <laughs> You gonna have to shoot this dude like eight times, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. So he like, yo, I don't like how you, how you, how you, how you, how you trying to play me, man. You trying to play me, son. Like, so the dude toned it down. You know, he was small. He told it down. He's like, nah, man. Like, you know, I was, you know, you know how these dudes be, man. They just, you know, they they get loud to see how long, how far they could take it. So anyway, so son, like. You know, after my man said whatever he said, like, nah, bro, like, I'm just saying, like, you know, we don't be violating y'all girls, whatever, whatever the case might be. Like, yo, you know, it's just crazy, bro. Like, I thought we was cool, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, now it's, we cool now. You know what I'm saying? Like, before that, he was over there. Like, there. Like, he was trying to kill mosquitoes and something. Like, he like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, he like, yo, that's, that shit ain't about nothing. So, he leave. He like, yo. Roll out, you know what I'm saying? He, it was him and, you know, he you know he was on his uh, Decepticon. Decepticons, roll out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so, boom. So, you know, they leave or whatever. So, I'm on the, so I'm still there, right? So, I'm still on the corner by Tiamo. You know, by Tiamo, if you know Gun Hill White Plains Road, there used to be a little, little newsstand, a little blue, little newsstand, right? Like on the pole. Or, it's not across the street, but it's like across from Tiamo. It's like Tiamo and then it's like a little space, a little walkway and then like in a pole in the corner, there used to be like a little newsstand. So I was sitting on it. So, you know, I'm just posted up there. So the homeboy that, you know, got all <clears throat> out of character or well, almost got out of character. Um, he was like, yo, I'm about to leave. He was like, yo, you good? I said, yeah, I'm good, bro. Mind you, the, the blood dudes left. So we sitting on, on the Ave. So I'm, he like, he's like, yo, I'm about to leave. So I'm like, all right, bro. He's like, yo, you good? You good? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good, I'm good. So he's like, you sure, bro? I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm, bro, it's my block, B. I'm good, I'm good. You know, you know, you know, you know, you on your block, you front. You're like, yo, this, this is my hood, B. Like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he like, you sure? I'm like, bro, what I just say, bro? He like, alright, alright, right, bro. So he leaves. Mind you, he leaves the, the other blood dude that we was with left. It's just me and do son that was neutral. So you know, we 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 chilling. So you know, this is everyday shenanigans. After school, two thirty to like three thirty, four o'clock, we used to post up, chill, try to talk to the girls. You know, a little teenager stuff. And we were fake gang banging. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I wasn't really gang banging yet. I was still a member. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was still a member. And so, you know, it's the difference between a gang banger and a gang member. I was a member at this moment. You know, um, so anyway, you know, I'm chilling on the corner. You know, I'm just like posted up. You know what I'm saying? And then I was about to leave. So I start talking to some girl, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I'm about to leave. So as I get up to leave, I see the blood dudes coming back. So I'm like, Maybe like 10, 15 minutes passed after like son left me, my, the, the homeboy left me, and when the bloods came, you know what I'm saying? It's like maybe like 10 minutes, 10 minutes passed. And the app was kind of whack this day, so I was like, yo, I'm out of here. So I was so good, it was me, the, my mans, and then there was a girl I was talking to. So I get up to leave, but I see the blood dudes coming back. So when the blood dudes was coming back, you know, I didn't want to make it seem like I was leaving because I seen them. You know, that's that, that mental male pride shit, that, 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 that dumb shit, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the false notions of masculinity, right? I always talk about that. So, you know, that dumb shit hit me. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm not going to leave now so they could feel like I'm leaving because I seen them. So, let me sit down. <laughs> let me sit down because I ain't scared of them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. This is just stupid pep talk you had to yourself, right? So I sit down. I go back over there, sit on the newsstand. So I'm chilling. And then after that, I'm like, I waited for like five minutes. Mind you, they right there by Tiamo. So they, they standing by like the doors of Tiamo. And I'm standing like right across from them. And I could, you know, they looking at me. I'm looking at them. There's nothing. I see them on the regular. Like I see these dudes on the regular. So I ain't, you know, I ain't nothing. So they happen to have these two dudes that I, you know what I'm saying, that I knew. So I was like, oh, what up? Like I gave them the head nod. They was like. I should have known something was up, because it was like that. You know, it was weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? The head nod was kind of weird. So I'm like, did they see me? Did they not? I don't know. It was just weird vibes. You feel me? So I'm like, I whatever. So after like five minutes of just sitting there and like, you know, just chilling, whatever, looking around or whatever, I'm like, all right, I'm good. I can leave now. So I get up, start crossing the street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Start crossing the street. And then I'm talking to Shorty. And as I'm talking to Shorty, it's like, Yo, somebody just came and drugged me. Yo, dudes was just, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I was just like, I don't know who they thought I was, man. But I don't know. I guess my face, like, even in the comments, it's funny because even in the comment section, people be like, yo, you don't look like a tough dude. And, you know, I'm never trying to act like I'm a tough dude. I'm not a tough dude. You know what I'm saying? But people always be like, you don't look like a tough dude. You look soft. I'll do this to you. I'll fuck you up. Uh, you pussy. You this, you that. You know, people always say that, right? So I, I, I see that because people was, like, trying me, yo. <laughs> they was trying me. But, yeah, so I'm walking across the street. And dude just drug me like I ain't gonna lie. He called me with some thunder. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, I stumbled or whatever. And the crazy thing is when I turned around, like when I turned around and seen like who snuffed me, it was this dude I knew. You feel me? Like one of the dudes I said set it up to. But what was even more amazing, mind you, I'm in the street, I'm crossing the street. So this happened like in the middle of the street as I'm crossing. <laughs> Not even. I, I just started crossing the street. So it's more to like the lane on the left. You know what I'm saying? So, what what struck me the most was that this dude didn't try to run. He didn't try to swing again. It's almost like he expected me to run. You feel me? And a lot of times, dudes be expecting that. Like, you know, they got the numbers. They expect you not to fight back. They expect you to run or hold down that you got snuff. Like, I seen a lot of dudes hold down that they got snuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, like, I was looking at this dude like, it, it, everything happened so fast. I know the way I'm describing it, it don't seem like it happened that fast, but everything happened so fast. Like, he drugged me, and then I looked at him, and I'm like, yo, this is the dude I know. And then I'm just like, in, the, in them fast seconds, I'm thinking like, yo, are you just going to stand there? You're not going to run? You're not going to, like, you thought I was going to run or something? So I just, I'm like, yo, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So we just started getting it on. You know what I'm saying? We started getting it on right there on the hill. It's like, so now he goes into the sidewalk. Because I was in the street. So I walked into the sidewalk. You feel me? So when I get into the sidewalk, somebody else, one of the other the blood homies, it was like, yo, you better get in there too. So and this is another dude I knew. So, you know, right before he, he could jump in, like I just duffed him too. So it was lit. Like, you feel me? So again, like I tell you all the time, like every time I get jumped, like I go. And it's funny because at first they were trying to act like 
It was just me. It, it was just like me against two dudes. You know what I'm saying? And then, I, you know, they gradually started jumping in. Like, you know what I'm saying? They just, I don't know if they just didn't want me to see who was jumping in or what. I don't know. But anyway, so, you know, they ended up, they started jumping or whatever. So, you know, like I told y'all, go into the streets. Do not stay on the sidewalk or you'll die. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I go into the street again, do what I do. You know what I'm saying? I go into the street. So, you know, I'm in the street, but I go, you know what I'm saying? Doing your little thing, you know? So, yeah, man. And so then, as I'm in the street, you know, I'm fighting, whatever. Like, this time, I didn't fall. I, I definitely didn't fall this time. This is my second time getting hopped on. I didn't fall, so I'm doing better. My legs got better. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Had to <laughs> horse legs. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't doing squats and stuff back then. But, you know, I played a little basketball around a little track. I did a little something, something, something. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> my legs start getting better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, I remember. So like, yeah. So you know, you know, you just fight. You just fight to the end till it's over. You just gotta fight. I don't care if you lose and still fight back. Hashtag, uh, RP Pop Smoke. So you know, long story short, I'm fighting, fighting, fighting. A lady pulls up in a car. She's like, "Oh, get in." So she rolls down the window. She's like, "Get in the car." So I'm like, "No, I'm not getting in the car." So you know, I'm still, <laughs> still fake scrappy. You know, my my arm done came out of place. Oh, I'm. <laughs> I'm stranded out here. My arm dislocated. It was over. <laughs> I'm like one one arm bandit. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I could barely do anything. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I, I should get in the car. But you know, the male pride. I keep telling you, the male pride, man, would get us killed. The, it's so many situations, man, where we know we could have walked away. We could have gotten in that car. We could have gotten in that car, but we, we didn't. But proceed to the story. So she's telling me to get in the car. I'm like, no, no, no. She gets out the car, and she tries to, like... So, she gets out the car. She stops the car in the middle of the street. She, you know what I'm saying? So, she tries to come around. And as she tries to come around to get me into the car, one of, like, the blood dudes, he pushed her, like... You feel me? Like, I remember he pushed her. And then right after he pushed her, like... He pushed her out the way to, like, get to me. And once he pushed her, like, I just drugged him. I drugged him, then I got in the car. <laughs> felt a little, I felt a little better about myself. <laughs> so, I drugged him, got back in the car. Not back in the car. I got in the car. She got back in the car. So then after this, she's like, when I got in the car, she's like, where do you live? And I was like, I live across the street. So she like, <laughs> across the street? I'm like, yeah, that's why I didn't want to get in the car. She's like, okay, well, I'm going to call the cops or whatever. I'm going to just, just wait with you right here. So at first, they were still around. You feel me? They were trying like, oh, bitch, let them out the car. Like, you know, they was just wilding. But whatever. Then, then they ended up leaving. And she was just like, yo... I don't, I'm doing this because I got a son. He's around your age, and I would want anybody to do this for my son. Like, this is exactly what she told me. She said, I would want anybody to do this for my son. It's crazy. Y'all out here wilding. Why did they jump you? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she called the cops, and my shit was a little swollen. Um, the cops asked me what happened. I was like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and mind you, the whole time the police talking to me, the, the, the girls that chill with the blood dudes, that started all this shit. They was there just looking at me, right? And I just felt so mad. I'm, I felt so angry because I'm like, I'm like this man. I was just chewing on them rocks. I'm like, yo, I'm like this. So I'm like, all right. Anyway, I went upstairs. I went upstairs because I lived across the street. So I went upstairs, got my little hoodie, got a little ice bag, got a little ice pack, put it in my eye. It was good, you know what I'm saying? But that was the moment. That was like the turning point. That was the moment when I think about the moments of no return. <laughs> that was definitely a moment Getting hopped across the street From the crib You know what I'm saying Getting hopped across the street from the crib And by people that you knew Some people that you knew Nah, it was, it was over after that Like I was like, oh, they think it's sweet So I went and got my little ice pack I went to 216 You know what I'm saying I went to the park You know, that was that was the hood You feel me? So I went to the, I went to the park And I was just there like Yeah, man, like, yo so then everybody came on, all my homies came and it was like, yo, what happened? We heard what happened. I was like, yeah, 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 you know, it's nothing. It's nothing, it's cool. And the dude that I was with, he ran on me. So I was even more pissed. He ran on me, he didn't do nothing. Like, but I can't, I couldn't help it. Like, he's not gangbanging. And and that's another thing. Sometimes we feel salty when our mans don't get involved in certain situations. But like, that's not his life. That's not what he do. That's not like his thing. Like, you feel me? And I respect that. Like, you know, and I always, after that, I, but before, after that, I always told my friends, like, don't hang around me. Because it might bring unnecessary attention your way. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that for y'all. So, like, I just tell them, like, if you with me, people going to think you, you, you crip. People going to think you banging. And people might just do something. 
And you know my friends was like, all right, we here. Like, it is what it is. I was like, all right, cool, we here. And a lot of them dudes ended up turning the crib anyway. But, yeah, man, that was, like, the turning point. Like, you know, I went to the park. After that, like, after that was, like, warm, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie. After that was, like, two weeks of just going back and forth. Um, and, they, you know, it's, it's mad stories, you know. <laughs> I know some of y'all be trying to get some of those stories. But, you know, <laughs> Big Brother is watching. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna jam me up. Shit. I ain't doing no dumb shit for a viral moment. <laughs> I ain't stupid. <laughs> but, you know, I share whatever I could share with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Whatever is safe to share. So, but, yeah, man, that's the story, man. That was like the, the moment of no return. And after that, it was lit, man. After that, we just, we went crazy. We ended up taking the hill. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, like, it was different. Like, the hill was just different. Like, after that, you couldn't be on the hill unless you was Crip or YB. That's a fact. Like, anybody could sit there and, 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 and talk about, oh, that's not true. That's a fact. And oh nine, it was a rap. Like, we took over, and it was it was that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh nine, you know, it was short-lived because I got locked up. But, you know what I'm saying? We took over. And I'm not saying that to glorify. I'm just saying, like, you know, this is what happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they hopped on me, and then it was shit just changed after that. You know what I'm saying? We just went on aggressive, savage beast mode. You know what I'm saying? We was like hyenas out there. <laughs> We don't care if you're lying. <laughs> you get eaten too. But anyway, yeah, that's the story, man. Um, and then after that, it was just lit, man. But you know, let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got more stories though, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I live, man. You know, I'm I'm a young old head. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? They call me they call me Uncle Nephew. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Nephew. You know what I'm saying? But but you know, y'all stay safe out there, man. Y'all peace, and man. You know, y'all give me some suggestions in the comments, and make sure y'all check that documentary out. Where I'll be safe.